Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about a month ago, I posted that in Google Chrome Canary 126, which back then was the latest preview version, there was a new setting available um, in Chrome's settings page, which is a new toggle to let you show or hide tab groups in the bookmarks bar. So if we head over to appearance, here we go, show tab groups in bookmarks bar, and you toggle that off, you can see save tab groups have been hidden. And then you can show those again. So it doesn't actually delete your tab groups. It just hides them. So if you want to declutter and for whatever reason, if you come back at a later stage, you can enable it and then just shows your safe tab groups, which I think is a handy option. Now, as we can see, there is a, another option just below that. And this rolled out recently in Google Chrome Canary 128, which is now the latest preview version, where it says automatically pin new tab groups created on any device to the bookmarks bar. And I actually think this is a handy option and you'll see why. So as an example, if I leave that on, currently in Google Chrome, if I add tab to new group, and we save group, we see it adds it automatically to the bookmarks bar. Now, if I head back and I toggle off that setting, and we head back and we Add tab to new group as an example. Let's just call that number five. Let's give it a purple. You will see now, as you can see, it doesn't add it automatically. And that's because that setting is turned off. And I think this is handy because um, if you are wanting more permanent safe tab groups to always be available on your bookmarks bar, uh, you can turn this off. But if you want to save a tab group to your bookmarks bar that you want available on a more permanent basis, you can turn this on. So that's where I think this is a useful feature. And this is currently being tested in Chrome Canary 128, as mentioned. And, and both these settings, show tab groups in the bookmarks bar and this new one are not available as yet in the stable. But I actually think both of these are quite useful and handy, especially if you are working with tab groups and saving your tab groups on a regular basis. And I think they just give you a couple of more options when it comes to simplifying things and decluttering and just bring a bit of extra functionality into the browser. And obviously, like all these new features, if and when they ever make their way down to stable, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.